I wanted to like talk and like be a host yeah. and like introduce people. And then when they found out that I could sing, then I actually hosted and then I started singing too. I auditioned a bunch, you know, like, well, first when I was 16 and mm -hmm. then again, like, you know, a few more times in college. And then I was just kind of like, well, maybe, you know, it's just not for me. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just not what they're looking for or whatever. Um, but it didn't, you know, it didn't stop me from continuing to sing and, you know, pursue music, of course. What was going through your head when the whole Demi Lovato thing happened? Oh my gosh, that was insane. Um, I, I was so overwhelmed. Like, it was just a rush of emotions, like a rush of feelings. <laughs> Hi, this is Lauren Engel. Today I'm with Rayvon Owen. Hey! <laughs> Well, that's it. <laughs> so you were born in Richmond, Virginia? Yes, I was. Born and raised in RVA. And all your families there? Most of my family, yes, yeah, in Richmond or like DC area, Northern Virginia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your like mom is from there as well? Yeah, well, outside of um, in South Boston, it's like a smaller oh. town area, like a couple hours outside of Richmond. Yeah. So that's where like most of my family was born, like my grandmother and grandfather and all of, you know, my great aunts and uncles and stuff, they still live back there. And some mm -hmm. of my uncles and aunts still live back there. Yeah. Too. And your mom was really hard working when you were growing up, right? Like working so many jobs to like pay for <laughs> yes. your lessons. Yes, for sure. Like she, you know, she was, she raised me and my sister. Um, pretty much by herself. I mean, of course, you know, we had help from family who always, you know, friends who was always looking for, looking out for us. <laughs> and um, yeah, we, but she, she, she definitely did what she had to do to, you know, put food on the table and make sure we had what we needed. And, you know, I always needed stuff to go to choir rehearsals mm -hmm. and performances and, you know, suits and jackets and things to perform in and fees and, you know, books and music and etc. So, yeah, no, she was definitely my biggest cheerleader. Yeah. yeah. What kind of jobs did she do? Um, she, you know, she worked at a bank. She did, you know, taxes, finance and stuff. Um, she helped out friends' businesses, you know, cleaning the business. Like, you know, she did whatever she had to do, you know, to, to make the ends meet. And mm -hmm. I'm grateful for that. What kind of music was she playing in the house when you were growing up? <laughs> um, a lot of gospel music, you know, Yolanda Adams, um, but also a little like Whitney Houston, you know, and uh, she loved Whitney Houston. That's kind of, I think, where I got my love for Whitney Houston from, <laughs> my mom. Um, and yeah, like Donnie McClurk, McClurk and Kurt Carr, like we love, you know, listening to gospel music and, you know, praise and worship music and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, also some soul and R&B and you know Donny Hathaway and Stevie Wonder. That's the kind of stuff we listen to in the house and mm -hmm. in the car, you know, <laughs> on little tapes. <laughs> and it was kind of a she's Christian, right? Like a Christian household mm -hmm. family. Yeah, yeah. You went to church a lot. Yeah, um, I grew up like uh, in kind of a you know, small to medium size, like, Southern Baptist Church. Um, that was, was awesome, I loved it, yeah. Since then, has religion been a big part of your life? A part of my life, you saying? Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure, like, I definitely, you know, consider myself a spiritual person, you know, and I've taken a lot of those values that I've taught, you know, to me and applied them to my life every day, and, you know, I'm always working in progress to, to build myself up you know, spiritually, mm -hmm. physically, mentally, everything, you know. <laughs> How do you describe yourself back then growing up? I don't know. I mean, I always say, oh, I look so cheesy or corny <laughs> back then. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I tell myself back then. No, um, no, I mean, I, I think I was a, 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 a decent kid. Like, I love to, well, the love for music came a little bit later, like, it was funny because the first talent show I ever participated in, I was the host. Oh. So I loved to like, I wanted to like talk and like be a host yeah. and like introduce people. And then when they found out that I could sing, then I actually hosted and then I started singing too. Oh. Like, and so it was kind of weird. So I, I love to like, I don't know, I always was kind of 
love to be in front of crowds and like make people you know happy and laugh and stuff yeah i don't know why um and i love to just perform at an early age i thought it was fun as soon as as soon as i got into choir you know yeah. it started in church so really you know and you went to like an arts high school right yeah like it's yeah. kind of specialized center for the arts yeah, yeah. um shout out to cfa <laughs> i um no yeah and studied musical theater so for four years i went there and studied singing, dancing, acting, and kind of like, you know, it's like kind of an overall introduction to musical theater and Broadway and, you know, singing and theory and uh, movement and, yeah, just everything. Kind of a really creative high school situation, mm -hmm. space, yeah. And your mom was really supportive? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know... It's like, okay, well, I mean, if this is what I was kind of passionate about, might as well learn as much as I could about it, you know. And we had those opportunities in our town to go to a specialized center. You know, you could go for engineering or, you know, there's another high school for mathematics. You know, they had all these specialty high schools. And so I was like, well, I love music, so I want to go for performing, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time, it was called the Vocal Musical Theater Program. So I was like, well, I love to sing and perform. I didn't know much about musical theater, like deep Broadway stuff, um, until I went there, and that kind of opened me up to like to acting and you know dancing and stuff, which I don't really <laughs> consider myself <laughs> that great of a dancer, but you know, moving and just yeah. performing in general, just kind of to be a diverse performer, basically, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Were you ever afraid of like specializing so young? Um, it's like things didn't work out that you didn't have like something else to fall back on was I afraid of that well um not really I think I just was more so wanting to diversify myself that I could you know because there's so many different facets of music you know mm -hmm. singing songwriting you know music business which I started in college so I wasn't necessarily afraid of specializing in it I just wanted to make sure that I knew enough that, you know, I could do something in music, you know, mm -hmm. whether there's so many different facets of music, you know. Yeah. Because I was just passionate about it. Do you like school, though? Did I like school? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes and no. You mean like high school or college or just all of it? That's high school. I never considered myself like a big, like, school, school person, um, because I feel like a lot of what performing is, is comes from the heart but I do love I do think it is necessary to get education and you know kind of be well-rounded on what you're doing you know if you want to be a singer you want to be an artist then why not learn as much as you can about what that means you know to be a singer or to mm -hmm. be an artist like you know I'm grateful that I learn how to take care of my voice you know I learned how you know in voice lessons and mm -hmm. um you know, I was just grateful. And even though I might not be a Broadway singer, but I'm grateful that I'm exposed to that. And who knows, at some point in my career, maybe I can pull out some of those yeah. skills, you know what I mean, and do Broadway or mm -hmm. be a part of a musical theater show or something. I don't know, you know. Looking back, I, do you think you learned a lot in college? Yes, I do. I definitely think I did. Um, I mean, you kind of take it for what it is and you know you learn a lot from your mistakes yeah. <laughs> for sure um and yeah it was kind of like a good training ground for um you know music and kind of what you know like I said what different facets of music you can go into after college I pretty much immediately moved to to LA oh yeah and when I came out here, I started, I was starting, even during kind of my, the end of college, I was starting to tour colleges and perform at different like universities and Oh, when did American so Idol tour. happen then? Then it happened after oh. that. So I released my first EP and went on tour, like on a college tour. And then... Oh, so you had fun based before the American Idol? Idol. What's that? You already had a fan base before American Idol? I mean, I was, yeah, I was starting to, like, build, you know, fans, you know, being on the road a bit and, like, oh. from releasing my first 
you know, music in my first single, um, which was Sweatshirt, and I did a video for that. <laughs> and How are you getting your music yeah. out there initially? Um, initially, I mean, you know, we were doing everything, you know, kind of with our kind of independent team, and um, yeah, it was, I mean, you know, it was up everywhere online, you know, we would... Oh, so you online, had and then we them. also printed, you know, physical copies, oh. and you know, people could order the CD um, if they wanted, as well as buy them at the shows. And, oh, would, and, um, but, the first EP. So before you graduated, did you already have like a management team, or like, what is the timeline of things? Yeah, so um, I got my manager pretty much, you know, towards kind of yeah, kind of towards the end of college slash. Shortly after, you know, we were starting to, you know, we were already kind of working together in college anyway. Yeah. Oh, so, so you already, like, when you moved out here, you already had, like, money saved up, or did you have to work other jobs? Well, yeah, no, I was working other jobs. You know, when I moved out here, I was working at um, J. Crew Men's Shop at the Grove, <laughs> and I was, you know, doing also corporate gigs. I was also singing, you know, and doing mm -hmm. sessions and stuff. And, um, and yeah, I was just working kind of, you know, odd jobs and stuff to, you know, kind of hustle and do as much music as I can when I wasn't on the road. Mm -hmm. It was nice, you know, being on the road. And then when I came off, I was picking up, you know, because when I was doing colleges before Idol, you know, that, that was, that was, and that was just as Idol was starting actually, because I was starting to work during the summer when the colleges were off, you know, oh. so I, did my, I was doing college touring, you know, for a couple, like a year, year and a half or something. Um, and then, yeah, then Idol came ha right yeah. after, shortly after. What about Idol attracted you so much? Because you auditioned like four or five times, right? Yeah, and the funny thing is, like, I auditioned a bunch, you know, like, well, first when I was 16, and mm -hmm. then again, like, you know, a few more times in college, and then I was just kind of like, well, maybe, you know, it's just not for me, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm just not what they're looking for or whatever. Um, but it didn't, you know, it didn't stop me from continuing to sing and, you know, pursue music, of course. Um, and, yeah, and this time I, you know, heard it was coming back and, you know, I was like kind of talking to, you know, my family about just you know, kind of the next steps, and they're, you know, kind of encouraged me, oh, just give it one more try, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why not? And so, I did, and that, that's yeah. when I went all the way to, to, the, to, to, the, to the fourth place, which I yeah. didn't so I expect that. I didn't anticipate that at all. What did but, you learn from the whole experience? Um, I learned a lot from the experience, honestly. Um, it was kind of like a big you know, like years of music industry experience, kind of like jam-packed yeah, into... Yeah, steroids. Right, <laughs> jam-packed into months. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was it was just an overall, like, a quick learning thing. I mean, from television to cameras and blocking and choreography and recording and studio and, you know, management and business and everything. You know, all that goes into it. It's like a crash course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he and thinks, you meet so yeah. many people too, and you grow, you know, so many, you know, gain so many supporters, and you know, people who, hi, hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and you gain, you know, people who, you know, say hi to you. I guess <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Do you think it's representative of the music industry? Like a lot of the stuff you learn, it's like you realize early on, like problems that came up, you knew how to solve it. For sure, for sure. I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. You know, because of that experience and kind of gaining that kind of knowledge, it's like kind of gives me like a little edge and just a different, you know, kind of a different story. Like, you know, I've been through, you know, I've seen what it's like and stuff kind of in a, such a fast paced environment, you know, and kind of how to work that. And yeah, so I definitely think, I mean, of course, I still have so much to learn and grow. Um, but yeah, it definitely gave me that, that intro to. The, the the music business and, yeah. <laughs> and the, the world of entertainment. Were A big you, intro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> were you ever afraid of like once you joined like American Idol, you'd always be like associated to it and like people refer to you? No, I mean I know that that's gonna always be a part of my story and a part of my journey. Um, but you know, it's it definitely opened the door. I don't think I would, you know, be here with you, you know, if it weren't for for doing Idol and you know a lot of experiences that I've had. I'm you know I, I definitely appreciate you know, the opportunity that it gave me and the platform that it kind of gave me to continue doing what I love to do, Yeah. you know? Because um, as we all know, it's not easy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, being in, being in the industry and doing music and being creative people. So I'm grateful for that jump start. After American Idol, you know, we did the American Idol tour and um, we started doing my own touring, released singles, fell in love, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> came out, you know, just kind of embraced who I was and kind of who I love and um, been rock and rolling ever yeah. since. <laughs> yeah, I've been recording a lot, um, so there's definitely a project in the works and a lot that's coming and... Um, I'm excited, you know, just released a single recently called Gold, and so yeah. that's been doing good, and yeah, there's definitely more. There's <laughs> just so I'm much, like, everything's falling apart. Los down. Angeles is like falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to be releasing some, some new music soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how did you realize when was the right time to come out? Um, you know, it, it was definitely like kind of like one thing after another was like hitting me you know because I was kind of pondering it um I wanted to be more you know honest and more authentic to a first and foremost myself you know and then be you know the people around me and as well as those who you know have supported me and have you know followed me and been kind of encouraging me you know in this journey um and in my career so yeah, I just been. I thought it felt like the need, and then falling in love, of course, yeah. and feeling confident in that, kind of really pushed me over the edge to, to be overwhelmed by it, and just say, you know what, I have to embrace this. I have to live my best life. You know what I mean? I have to, you know, trust in God, trust in the universe, trust in everyone. You know that it it is what it is. You know, mm -hmm. it is what it is. I have to embrace it. Has there ever been like conflict to you about like the religion aspect to it, or like backlash from church or? Yeah, I mean, definitely. That's always, you know, has been a part of the struggle to accepting myself, mm -hmm. you know, and accepting who I am. Um, but you know, I just. I did a lot of research and a lot of soul searching and you know I've just come to a place that that's how you know I feel and that's who I am and that's how I believe that you know God accepts me to be mm -hmm. you know do you still go to a church here like is there yeah. open churches here yeah there's um, you know Hollywood United Methodist a big church mm -hmm. in Hollywood is um, a lovely church that I go to sometimes that um, is kind of open and accepting mm -hmm. and and is you know a bible-based believing church you know it's so that's been a great experience going to that church um one church in la is you know there's a lot of there's a few churches that i've been attending here that i've enjoyed mm -hmm. that i feel like i've been open and accepting which, oh, is, which is great okay. it's good to see that progress within you know that community how do you choose which lgbt organizations you want to give your time to um, I, I mean, I love to support any and all that are, you know, doing good things because everyone needs support here and there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, it, it's nice living in LA because a lot of organizations have events here and, you know, people that I can, you know, meet with here and, um, and then people that reach out as well, you know, so I've been, you know, working with the Human Rights Campaign and, you know, GLAD, the Trevor Project, 
Um, um, yeah, there's there's quite a few different <laughs> organizations that I've worked with mm -hmm. um, or performed for. Or, you know, that's been really cool to help just bring awareness to um, things that need the support. For your songs coming up, what kind of inspirations or themes do you have for it? For my new music coming yeah. out? Mm -hmm. um, I, don't know, I think it's going to be um, a little more mature, or, um, <laughs> more um, just honest, authentic, more myself, I feel, you know? Um, um, you know, I'm in love now, so there's going to be a lot of, you know, songs that have kind of stemmed from those emotions <laughs> of being in a relationship and, um, yeah, so... There's gonna be a lot of that. And a lot of just acceptance, self-acceptance type stuff as well. Yeah. So. How did you meet your fiance? <laughs> I met him um, at World AIDS Day in Detroit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't even meet here, which is funny. <laughs> um, but we both lived here and I was like, yes, this is gonna work out great. <laughs> oh, and it did, of course. I know. Oh my gosh. What was going through your head when the whole Demi Lovato thing happened? Oh my gosh, that was insane. Um, I, I was so overwhelmed. Like, it was just a rush of emotions, like a rush of feelings. Um, just, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I can't even put it into words, to be honest with you. Like, I was just speechless yeah. and happy beyond my imagination. I mean, it couldn't have been better. Yeah. It could have been more perfect. <laughs> How do you realize he was the one? I mean, I think I knew pretty on, like, well, that's the thing, you know pretty on the potential of being the one, but yeah. of course time really seals the deal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got to know him, you know, to be my best friend and like, you know, someone that I could really see myself with for the rest of my life you know and I never thought that was possible for me you know um, I've doubted in that a lot and with him I never felt more confident you know yeah I love about that. that what do you love about him you know I love his spirit I love that when I'm around him he makes me feel like a better person mm -hmm. um, you know, he makes me feel confident in who I am, and, you know, um, he is, yeah, that's, I mean, I, I, I love everything about him, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Even the stuff that annoys me, I love it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I love I'm that. I'm like, well, I would miss it if it was gone, you know? <laughs> so, no, I mean, he just, he definitely just feels like someone I can confide in, someone I can trust, mm -hmm. and that's been huge. You know, that's how I knew he was kind of meant for me you know mm -hmm. um we balance each other out we're so we're so, we're so opposite I mean we're alike in some ways but we're very opposite in a lot of ways <laughs> um so it's uh it's cool that he makes me better you know what I mean mm -hmm. he adds to my life and I think I add to him and that feels good so it's 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 an ebb and flow what was the decision to become vegan <laughs> um that actually, it first started off as a challenge, and then that turned into me like actually just feeling better and like, you know, um, feeling healthier and, um, you know, just more alert and, and just, my body just felt better. And yeah, so, and then I, of course, then watched, you know, the documentaries and like, <laughs> you know, started learning about. Went down that know, rabbit hole. <laughs> I know, yeah, once you go down and then, <laughs> and then I couldn't turn back. <laughs> but also, you know, it's easy in LA and I'm, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not a pushy vegan. I, I always say to people, you know, cause I was a pescatarian for a while before I was like fully vegan. So, um, you know, I'm, I say just eat whatever is, works for you, you know, whatever is is good for your body. Listen to your body. Your body will tell you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, when I when I cut out a lot of that stuff, I just felt better, better. That was the main reason. How would you say your music has changed since the early songs you wrote? Um, I, you know, I definitely feel more confident in my songwriting. Um, 
and I think, you know, the more that I have learned to accept myself and kind of the, you know, the, the more I kind of learn from my journey, I think that reflects in my music um, and that hopefully shows. And, you know, I think people will enjoy. I've been, it's been a work in progress, and, um, but I think it's um, hopefully it gets better. I mean, that's the goal. I just want to grow and learn pretty much. How about the style of music itself? Um, the new style of music is going to be, you know, I mean, it's it's me, but just a little more R&B, a little more, you know, soul vibes. Like, um, yeah, I think it's just more mature, like I said. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, electronic vibes, like, still, and just kind of the influence of a lot of things that mm -hmm. I like. How would you say you've grown as a person since when you were younger? I mean, sometimes I still feel like a child, mm -hmm. but no, I definitely think I've grown. I mean, I mean, how can you not when you go through so many different phases of life? You yeah. know what I mean? I feel like I've had so many different, hit so many different, um, you know, just kind of tears in life that, you know, between about to get married now and yeah, huge. like you know going through idol and just you know having all these experiences of touring around the world and this is so many different eye-opening things so I definitely think I'm a stronger you know better version of the person that I was and you know a healthier version so that's just what I strive to, mm -hmm. to be. Other than coming out what would you say have been your biggest challenges? Um, yeah, that definitely was probably one of the biggest challenges of my life, but I would say besides that, um, I don't know, I mean, I think just staying patient, staying consistent, um, and kind of, you know, the, I mean, it's kind of on the other end of coming out, but accepting yourself, you know, mm. not just coming out, but almost like coming out to yourself <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean just growing you know as a person um, and kind of accepting who you are you know that has been a, a big challenge for me that I feel like that I've gotten a lot better at but it's still always a daily challenge I mean, for mm -hmm. everybody you know what I mean yeah you know we all struggle with different things different insecurities and um, so yeah it's just that that fight to be the best you mm -hmm. I think what does success look like to you to me, success is happiness. I mean, it's success is waking up every morning and living your best life, living your best journey, doing what you love to do, doing what you're passionate about. You know, there are a lot of people who are rich, but not happy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, the saying that it's lonely at the top, there's a lot of truth to that saying, you know? Um, so I think success is still having, you know, those things and those opportunities and building yourself up, but still being able to live with yourself at the end of the day, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that's, to, that's to me. That's success is that to me. You know, I don't want to, I never felt like I worked a day in my life, you know, when it comes to music. I mean, yeah. I definitely worked hard with that and worked mm -hmm. other jobs and stuff like that. But, you know, as far as my career goes it doesn't feel like a job you know mm -hmm. I love um, that. it feels it's what I'm passionate about so I think if someone is passionate about photography or artistry or you know being a dentist or whatever you know whatever people are passionate about you know if you just be the best at whatever you want mm -hmm. to be take the journey too because sometimes yeah. that changes you know so never be afraid to walk into a different path you know might start off thinking you want to do one thing but mm -hmm. that might take you into something else and it's okay but I feel like you just got to listen to your instinct you know yeah. I feel like your instinct will lead you to success because what, what you're be, what you are most passionate about that's what you'll work the hardest towards you mm -hmm. know last question what do you want to be remembered for Ooh, deep question <laughs> <laughs> never uh, really been asked that before I don't think um I think I just want to be 
remembered for, you know, just being a good, honest person who was, you know, passionate about what he believed in and encouraged people to do the same. Yeah. I think that kind of boils it down, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Of course, along with music, you know, <laughs> that being the whole catalyst of it all. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, bye, guys. <laughs> bye.